Everybody's got to start sometime. And, you know, we were all newcomers once. Whilst the term noob is oftentimes rather unfairly used derogatorily, the entries on this rundown aren't all negative experiences, and are in no way meant to poke fun at newcomers. Yeah, noobs can be clumsy, but also, experiencing something for the first time is a wondrous thing, and something we can only do once. Getting insta-killed. Yes, we've all been there. You've selected your character class, gathered resources, weapons are fully loaded, you're tentatively peeking out of cover, and bam, headshot. Your opponent seemingly blasting you to oblivion within a microsecond's glimpse of you. This is the way things go for many a newcomer in Battle Royale game, for noobs spend more time collecting items than shooting. At least modern titles aren't littered with the problems of old-school arena shooters such as Unreal Tournament, whereby dead players had respawn in direct firing line of their opponents, with the overall franticness of battles making it seem impossible to get a foothold on gameplay. Running into danger As a noob, it's all too easy to fixate on one objective. Capturing the flag, disarming the bomb, rescuing the hostage, etc. Ignoring the impending ambush which awaits. Spotting the weapon's cache and dive-bombing straight into it, ignoring surrounding doom in a novice's tunnel vision, is all too commonplace for the beginner. Patience comes to those with experience. Letting your team down Following on from the previous point, when playing with others, all these newbie mistakes translate to a crushing feeling of letting your team down. Being an ineffective teammate is one thing, though. Accidentally lobbing a grenade in the midst of your crew is another. As hilarious as that may be to some, just pray these mistakes don't lead to the wrath of your teammates. Utilizing Easy Mode This isn't a dig at newcomers to a game. In fact, this is straight-up advice. Utilizing a game's easy mode is a sound strategy whilst you're growing accustomed to a game's controls and mechanics. Noobs have something over seasoned gamers in this regard, as it pays off sometimes to leave a game on easy mode, especially if you're looking to experience a game's story and aren't too bothered about getting good. The Thrill of a Kill When all these new skills finally coalesce, something magnificent happens. You kill an opponent, capture a flag, earn a point, score a goal, whatever. Thoroughly green gamers have a habit of celebrating absolutely everything like it's a game-winning touchdown. And you know what? Why not? Especially with online play, it can be daunting to go up against experienced opponents, and the learning curve can be steep. Celebrate every victory, no matter how insignificant. Constant reloading. Yeah, this is an early habit that can be hard to shake. The insistence on reloading after popping only just a few rounds. Not necessarily a problem when one on one, but find yourself outnumbered and that unbreakable habit to reload will be your comeuppance. The struggle. When we say the struggle, principally we're talking about learning new characters. Oftentimes, especially in fighting games, you'll stick to your main with maybe a handful of tertiary characters with which you can do a serviceable job. To be a valued member of your crew in games like Overwatch, though, you're going to want to learn a few characters or build types, as your usual main might not service the needs of the team. And here is where the struggle sets in. It's tough to get a handle on a character. So, naturally, there's a reluctance to leave relative comfort for something unknown. Games are supposed to be fun, and deliberately taking away the comfort of a known character, effectively going from a strong chance of winning to a likelihood of losing, can evaporate that fun. To move beyond being a newbie, there's no choice but to embrace the struggle. Not knowing where things are that feeling of bewilderment at trying to suss out a map's layout is commonplace for any newcomer. Maps take time to learn, but especially in the frantic world of online FPSs, time is of the essence. 
there isn't a whole lot of opportunity to acquire a map's overview in those early days for constant dying. Getting stuck in is the only way around it, and learning where ammo and resources spawn and drop is also a crucial stepping stone to getting good. Confusing controls from one game to the next A condition that can befall seasoned gamers as well as gaming newcomers. In fact, seasoned experienced players may experience this one more than someone who's just starting out, and that is continually pressing the wrong button for the same action on the controller. Years of muscle memory isn't so easy to wipe clean. Case in point, and using PlayStation as an example, switching from a lifetime of FIFA playing to a few games of Pro Evolution Soccer and continually hitting circle to long ball a shot over the crossbar instead of smashing the square button to shoot is a common noob frustration. Of course, on sports games this isn't a big deal, controls can be remapped. However, the necessity to utilizing the left thumbstick to ollie in last year's side-scrolling skateboard platformer Ollie Ollie World meant undoing years of hitting X on Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. That kind of mental remapping isn't so easy to rewire. Finding games to get into As a complete newcomer to video games, it can often be hard to find games which suit your needs. Asking around on forums or Reddit for game recommendations is commonplace, but if you've never played games before, it can be hard for gamers to give strong suggestions. For example, Say you're after a tranquil experience, someone may recommend Stardew Valley. And whilst the retro visuals and gentle story may indeed tick the boxes of some, its surprising depth might serve to stress out others. As a noob on the hunt for the perfect games to get into, it'll be an unavoidable process of trying a load to see what fits. Getting lost in tutorials Effective tutorial levels are tricky for developers to pull off. Their exercises in onboarding, with the minimal challenge afforded in the early game giving players chance to get to grips with techniques, controls and gameplay. To the noob, though, this is also an opportunity to get lost or miss the tutorial aspects entirely. Burning through resources Accidentally splurging through ammo and resources are bread and butter to the noob. Especially in survival horror games such as Resident Evil, newcomers might only realize the benefits of hoarding all of those green herbs when it's too late. They'll have gobbled through all those green leaves at the first drop of health when they should have been desperately limping to the nearest typewriter. Misunderstanding Stealth there's a knack to utilizing stealth and cover tactics successfully. Making the most of the shadows requires careful timing and precise movements, skills which the novice gamer likely doesn't have. In many ways, stealth is a more advanced gameplay concept than your run-of-the-mill FPS, so anyone completely new to gaming might want to look at other genres first. Actions have consequences. Just like real life, in video games, actions oftentimes have consequences. However commonplace it is to the experienced gamer, noobs oftentimes fail to realize until late on in the game. From rudimentarily planning heists in Grand Theft Auto V to entire space opera narratives hinging on player decisions in Mass Effect 2, player choice matters in a multitude of games and it'll likely be too late before the noob realizes. QTE Woes Perhaps a mechanic in antithesis to stealth, quick time events and other time-based gameplay elements require fast-paced reaction times. An X quickly flashing on screen can be befuddling to the noob gamer. What is this? Should I press the button? Oh wait, too late, I'm dead. Perhaps falling out of favor in recent years due to their overabundance and immersion-breaking potential, but that first QTE encounter is likely a wonderful experience to the newbie gamer. So what are your thoughts on this? Go ahead and share them in the comments below, 
And if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon to get new video updates. We upload every day and would really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching.